These are clips from a five hour um, video on how to make this really nice little jewelry box. Um, there's a lot of information contained in the video. Um, you'll see um, there's an explanation of various techniques used to actually mark out the uh, dovetails and the angles that are required um, for strength. Um, it's all traditional and goes back hundreds of years. Um, now here you can see um, I'm cutting out um, what will be the holes for the pins to go in um, using a really nice little dovetail saw um, and a little explanations of how these um, the tools work and also a few tips on how to um, go about uh, using the woodwork tools. Um, you can see here <laughs> I'm sharpening a pencil. Um, it's really important to have a really sharp pencil so it'll fit into the uh, cuts made by your cutting knife. All of these things are explained. You can see there that's, uh, that's actually a cutting gauge and I'm pointing out the little blade that's uh, in it and that enables you to make lines across the grain, really fine lines across the grain. And here I'm dividing up the uh, wood into the right amount of pins. Um, there is a technique involved in this and it, it's not difficult um, and it's actually quite amazing. And um, you know, you'll find there's a few descriptions of the sorts of things that you should do and shouldn't do and also how to use the chisel and why the chisel should be used in a particular way um, so it doesn't mark the, uh, the wood uh, as you wouldn't want it to be marked. Now dovetails go together once um, and you don't keep trying them backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards because the fit is um, lost when you do that because the wood compresses. Um, so that was gluing up and this is the finishing aspect. I go through this um, in quite a lot of detail to get a really nice finish with tongue oil. It's a really nice little box. Is how the air is displaced as the top drops down just like that. So in an hour's time I'll be back and I'll just burnish it. Another option to this box where we can use the Queen Ebony for the feet. Now what I'm suggesting is you can put the feet rather like this um, and I think that really has quite a nice look. You can download this comprehensive five hour work long video from our website www.arc services.com.au If you don't have uh, the facilities to machine your own wood, we can supply a kit. Um, and if you want to machine your own wood, we can give you the cutting list.